Hello everybody, Trumpet Master here, aka Charles, or whatever you want to call me by, and welcome to the Challenge Grand Prix in Orlando 2019. This is the February month, and yeah, the m information that you need to know has been mentioned in the previous video back in January, so if you don't know exactly what's going on here, go ahead and down below I'll have the previous video for January, and I'll get on right to it. Alright, and we're going to start off with the B-Class race, actually. And starting on pole, we had Mike, and we had second place uh, being Scotty with the third place, uh, Anthony Anthony there. He's going to be, at, those are the top three starting off on the race. And actually, as you saw, right at the start there, Anthony made a move on Scotty. is now hunting, now hunting down Mike for that uh, first place position. And that that seems to be the battle that will be tend to uh, come to fruition throughout the entire race. So those three tend to be the... Podium finishers as the entire race. It tends to be uh, Mike it tends to be get, eventually get nabbed by Anthony and Scotty. Uh, can't quite get a hold on uh, Mike near the end of the race. And that's those are your two, three um, podium finishers for the B class race. Further down the road, though, you had um, an interesting, um, interesting stuff um, unfolding there because you had Todd, Tom, and Todd, Tom, and George for a little bit battling for quite a bit in the mid pack area as well and you had um Jacob who's my brother by the way is um he is he was in a really fast cart and he was starting like second to last so he had so he was fighting through the entire pack pretty much just um slicing through a few people and then getting up near like the podium positions for a little while he was on the back of um Todd for quite a bit and then uh with his experience or in a lack of experience or inexperience for a better word of it he just seems to can't quite get a hold on the making the move he does make the move eventually as we'll eventually see he didn't make a great pass on it but he just couldn't quite hold on he kind of at least in my view it looked like he just got tapped out and spun out but it, it, in the end of the day it's a it just it was just a racing incident so it wasn't really a huge deal on that front and eventually after all that um he, Jacob did eventually end up finishing last because um, he's had uh, quite a few mistakes in this one. But those are ones that he'll take and just learn and just learn from the next few times and get better at it. And for the outside the podium positions, you had uh, you had Todd, Tom, and George, and then you had my brother Jacob in last. So those were the finishing orders for that. And yeah, the race was... Uh, it was a fairly chaotic one, for say, because now you're seeing right now on screen, because, um, yeah, here was the first accident he had. He actually got hit pretty hard, so he was stuck there for a while. So what they did was they, they stopped all the carts, and he got back up so he, uh, to where he was right before the, not before the accidents, but, like, in the back of the pack, just so that way he wasn't just trundling around in, like, the last positions. And, yeah, as we see them cross the line, we have uh, Anthony getting the first place position, Mike in second by Scotty. Getting the third place. That was actually a bit of a interesting little finish there. Uh, it looks like uh, Mike got a little bit loose and Scotty just didn't quite react in time. But it, it was all right. You can see the results right there in front of us. I don't know if you can, there's the last names as well, but no worries. It's uh, eventually you, we were going to show the last names because uh, next month's spreadsheet we're going to be using theirs because they actually have a much brighter lineup. Yep. And that race went very well. We'll go ahead and move on to the A-Class race. And this one, you had myself starting out on pole position, followed by uh, Steven in second place in this race. He was starting out on second in the number three car, which is actually one of the faster carts. But I don't know um, what happened with Steven in this race. It just seemed to... Uh, I don't know if it was just something mentally with him, but he just wasn't exactly with it in the actual race. Cause it just seemed like um, he couldn't quite um, get number three to pull what it normally does he was seemed to be a second off in the race as you can see right here I'm coming out from after the first lap and I already have enough of a gap to pull a qualifying line to pull away from the pack and I you will hear you know like a few seconds uh Anthony's saying that uh looks like I'm gonna win because uh I'm pulling a gap from the pack and because uh Steven's not quite having enough to pull away from Dupree the uh, David there so yeah it's basically there's Pretty much when the lead, uh, the battle for the lead's pretty much one and done right there after the first two laps or so. Now the really what's going on here it's a fight between David, Steve, Nick, and Chris basically is um is are those were the top like 
outside of like me in first place, you had those four people fighting in the top five jockeying for his position and pretty much the entire way for like the first like three like three quarters of the race pretty much is what that was been and see Steve will Steven will eventually uh follow down the field until he's um near last and I don't, don't know if it was just physically or something like that because he eventually does um tap out of the race as you'll see later on in the race because um I just uh, it was just a mental battle but um, with, th with that said, it also does show that anyone could really win the race. Because you saw me last month, actually, second to last in the A-Class race. And uh, Steven won the A-Class race last month, and now he's, like, last in the A-Class. So it definitely shows that how competitive the field is this year in comparison to last year. Anyone could really win the race. It just depends on how good the cart someone has and how good can they make it work. Because... The carts are always within like maybe like three or four half a second of each other. They're really close, but the thing is, um, it's how someone can extract that base out of the cart is what makes it a big deal. And yeah, you can definitely see that here because um, number thirty isn't exactly one of the quicker carts, but I can just make it pull away because it just the cart just felt really connected with how I was driving it. And the same goes for David here because he was. Managing to pull away from Steven, and, and Steven couldn't just make number three work at all that day. And Nick could seem to do the same thing with his card number four. Four is not a super, super quick card, but it's a another one that can be a competitive card if you know how to use it. And yes, here we have um, myself finally getting my first win at a uh, Challenge Grand Prix. Followed by a, a relatively relatively close second with uh, David there and Nick came up into third place a very good solid position for him uh, but he know we know uh, Nick can get a few wins he's one of the quicker guys I do believe he's faster than me normally but uh, it just seems like um, he's not been having the best luck when it comes to carts it always seems like um, there's always somebody that has a slightly better cart than him and they can make it work a little better but it's it's only a matter of time before Nick gets that elusive win that he sh that he will have, but he's still up there actually. With with that being said, he's it's been a really close race. I actually go around for my first victory lap. It's felt great actually. Not gonna lie, the first wins are always the ones you're gonna remember, and uh, it's still my uh, only win as of yet. But uh, it's definitely not the most fun race I had actually. This was a fun race, but uh. Next month actually was probably uh, the one I'm probably not going to forget because it was definitely the most fun. As <laughs> uh, you hear them in the background, they're just messing around and about. And with that, that puts Nicholas in front row for the uh, championship at the moment. With David and me tied actually in second and third, but that's actually um, two seconds. Followed by Steven who finished last in this one. He's two points behind in fourth since uh, he would have had less points if he were in the B race if finishing last. But since he was in the A race, he actually got got up eight points, which is still good. He st he's still in the top five and he's only three points away from first. So it's a, a really tight race so far after the first two months. And it's I th the way this reason's been going about so far, I think it's probably going to stay that way all the way until the end. And it's going to be quite a fun one to see. Right, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this month's Challenge Grand Prix video. Don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, you know what to do. And I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to leave a subscribe. And yeah, let's catch you guys later.